Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Patek Philippe 5074R-001 Grand Complication Minute Repeater Perpetual Calendar with Cathedral Gongs. But before I continue, a word from my sponsor. As you can hear, cathedral gongs are very special, and this watch, not just a minute repeater, but a cathedral gong minute repeater, measures 42 millimeters across my wrist. If you like the look and the sound of this watch, you can see it and buy it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full sales listing for this extraordinary timepiece, with accessories included in the sale, high resolution images for your desktop, and naturally complete pricing details for this Patek Philippe 5074R automatic minute repeater perpetual calendar. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see that the watch is one of the largest contemporary Patek Philippe references. Well, not quite as ungainly large as the Sky Moon Tourbillon or the Grandmaster Chime series, 42 millimeters puts it on par with the legendary 5070 in terms of wrist presence and outright size. And you can see with the broad, flat, and step bezeled case junction, the watch actually bears a family resemblance to the well-regarded 5070. Now that's 42 across the round of the case, not inclusive of crown or minute repeater slider. And you'll note, in profile, the watch is quite trim. It's only 12.5 millimeters thick, but generously sloped and stepped on its flank. The repeater slide does not project out far, so the watch will easily slide underneath a tight sleeve or dress cuff. From lug to lug, the watch measures 48.5 millimeters, so though it is a large Patek Philippe, it's not an ungainly large timepiece in general terms. It actually fits my 16 centimeter wrist quite well, and I would say down to perhaps 15 centimeters in circumference, you should wear this watch with a great sense of aesthetic coherence as well as physical security on the wrist. Now again, if you want to see more shots of the watch from non-standard angles in these videos, just click on that card in the upper right hand corner and you can see our studio photography. But I'm going to migrate to the strap of the watch briefly, just to emphasize that it's everything you would expect, a Patek Philippe strap, mildly distressed, semi-gloss black alligator leather with a monotone stitch and folded edges, and like many Patek Philippe repeaters and grand complications, the watch features a discreet, handsome, low-profile, and traditional spade-style pin buckle. This is a traditionalist's timepiece, even if its level of complication and size are definitely of the modern era. Now you'll note that the case has phenomenal definition. Steps, fluting, gadrons. You also note that there are hard character lines that make this a more masculine offering from Patek Philippe. Some of its models have compound curves, a sort of sensuous quality that's almost feminine. This watch is all hard edges, creases, folds. This is an impressive timepiece. Now you'll also note that the watch features a rich red tone, and the red gold beautifully segues into the gilt style printing of the dial with its golden chapter rings for the sub-registers, beautiful hand-applied and polished Arabic numerals in matching red gold, and at center, the foy or leaf style hands. One of the features of this watch that I enjoy most aesthetically is that you get the case form and even some of the dial aesthetics of the 5070 without the obviously undersized movement that you see in the 5070 and the aesthetic gymnastics on the dial to try to disguise that. Here, the caliber properly fits the case, and you'll note that there's only one railroad-style outboard minute track, not a multiplicity of layers and scales as you see on the 5070. In terms of balance, it's perfect. The registers are horizontally opposed from 3 to 9, and there's a beautiful vertical axis running from Arabic numeral 12 through the Patek Philippe marquee, the cannon pinion, and the hands at center, along with the radial date and the bosom style moon phase at 6 o'clock. Turn the watch over, and you see the business end of the 5070R. Now, it's impossible to say exactly how many of these were made between the debut of the model in 2002 and its phase-out in 2015, but consider that its predecessor, which was produced from 1989 to 2002, was built in perhaps 120 copies. 
Again, Patek Fleep was not exactly upping the ante or ratcheting up production on minute repeater perpetual calendars, so I would anticipate that given the production span, quantities of this watch produced are smaller. But what makes this one different is the rose gold, which is almost universally regarded as the most musical of all repeater materials, and among those partisans of rose gold, a certain Mr. Terry Stern. Let's hear the slide and the repeater in action again. Now I haven't exactly wound this one up so you can see the balance is jumping in little fits and starts, but the watch features automatic winding so once you've wound it up once, in general you won't have to top it off, it simply energizes itself by micro rotor with its 22 karat gold guilloche cut winding mass. Underneath the filigree style Calatrava cross in gold is the regulator organ for the repeater that slows down its beautiful musical cadence. You can see the black polished repeater hammers, they're actually black polished on their tops and that refers to the level of optical purity of the polish applied. Black or poly noir is the highest echelon of Swiss watch finishing. You'll also note the same treatment applied to the cathedral gongs and they are cathedral rather than standard because each gong which emanates from this anchor point circles the movement twice. Thus the watch has twice as much, actually more than twice as much total gong surface area as its predecessor the 3974. It has more than twice as much because not only do the gongs circle twice, but the case itself and thus the actual diameter of the gongs is larger. Now the movement operates at 21,600 vibrations per hour. It has a 48 hour power reserve when fully wound up. It, you can't really see it to great effect because it's buried a little bit. Let me move the rotor underneath the winding rotor, but the watch does feature Patek Philippe's signature Gyromax style free sprung balance. So it can take and hold a regulation quite well and quite precisely. Moreover, you'll note that this watch having been built prior to mid-2009, so you know this one was built between the debut of the rose gold model in 2005 at Basel World and the phase out of the Geneva Hallmark stamp in mid-2009. That gives you a window for this watch's production. Of course the watch is completely documented so the owner will know for sure, but all of the finishing standards you expect of Patek Philippe from a beautiful linear Cote de Genève across the bridges to the Titan even perlage just below the cock of the balance, barely visible but there, beautiful polished screws with chamfered slots, of course the black polish of the hammers and the gongs themselves, and if you look through the Calatrava cross you can see that regulator spinning when the chimes are in motion. This is a masterpiece front and back, and again the micro rotor automatic system allows it to be only one half a millimeter thicker than a Rolex Submariner. So if you're familiar with the sub and how that fits under the cuff you'll realize that for all of its complexity this watch is designed to play well with dress cuffs. In fact, one could argue that given its size and the imposing stature of the 42 millimeter case in rose gold with black dial, this would also wear well with smart casual attire. A watch for effectively any activity but water, because it is not water resistant, pursuant to musical and sonorous qualities. This is a timepiece for the connoisseur who knows what he wants, has the means to get it, and frankly enjoys wearing and using his watches. Please, please, please don't make it a safe queen. If you plan not to make it a safe queen, you can see it and you can purchase it on our website.